Hey guys, this is the second part of my unboxing the Mac video. I um, just want to talk a little bit about the Mac first and then I'm going to see details about what else I've bought and that kind of thing for it. Um, so I've had it like a day now and it is really good. Like, honestly, the speed of it is, it is so fast, it is so good. Um, I'm completely in love with it, especially the colour. Um, but one thing I did notice is that it doesn't have a CD player, it doesn't have a USB port, it doesn't have a lightning port, which I knew it wouldn't have a lightning port, but that means I can't like charge my phone off it, I can't put any CDs in it. All I can do, it's got a RAM headphone port and it's got a USB-C port, which is the charging port for it. It's got two of those. So what I went out and bought today, which is quite annoying that I didn't realise that beforehand, but it's not something I looked for because I just assumed that all CD players, like all laptops had CD players and that kind of thing. This is the first thing that I bought today. It's an Apple USB-C to USB. And this is for any like external applications. So it comes out of the USB-C hole and then it's got a USB port there. So like it could plug your phone in, plug your iPad in, anything really, like CD players, anything you want. But it's got a USB port. So I'm just gonna unbox this. So this is this is what it looks like. It's got an instruction leaflet in it. USB-C to USB. It's got some foreign information. And then it's got the warranty. So Apple's one year limited warranty. And then some instructions. So I'm going to set that back in the box. I'm so bad at like, losing warranties. So I'm just going to stick that there and it'll get lost. And then this is the actual product. I'm just going to unpackage it. So, if anyone's got the um, like an iPhone 8 or an iPhone 7 and you've got the adapter for it, you'll see um, it's quite like that. You know, the adapter for the headphone port, where you get it's from Lightning, it goes to I think it's AUX and Lightning, something like that. But it's for the headphone port, it's almost like that. So, this is the USB, please focus, please focus, that'll do. USB C, there you go, that's better. USB C part there. It looks like Lightning, but it's not. It's Quite different and then that's the usb port there so i've tried this it fits perfectly it works perfectly i wanted to get apple because um we've got products before that weren't apple and they didn't fit and they didn't work and it just it was just really annoying and we've had them before where they either break after a month or we've had other apple charges like other charges that aren't apple before used on apple products that they've just broken their products to the point where you know, it loses charge in 30 minutes after full charge, so it's just not worth it. I also bought a USB super drive, which I am really excited about, which is so geeky, but I don't care. I'd also really appreciate if my dog would shut up right now. So, guys, I don't know how to get into this. So, I'm just using my cuticle cutting tool to get into this. So again, it is an official Apple product, uh, it's pretty cool, I think, I don't actually know how much they were, they were Christmas presents, they are very, very early Christmas presents from my parents, oh my god it's so pretty, they are very early Christmas presents from my parents, because um, I didn't know that you didn't get these in them, so I couldn't afford them properly, so they bought me them, um, I think this was something like, I think it was £7, I think, but I may be wrong. I think this one was 65 which is quite expensive but it was made specifically for the MacBook Air so it's very lightweight and it's specifically for it. So this is what it looks like, this is it, it's got a wire coming out the back and it is USB so it's a good thing I got the other one because that is how I'll plug it into my laptop and it is really light, it is quite lightweight, I think it's about the same weight as a laptop maybe a little bit lighter. It's got a protective film on it, so let's take that off. Oh, that is so satisfying, guys. And on the back, it does have that Apple logo, so you know it's Apple. And then it's literally just a hole for a CD player. That is all it has. So it's super simple, but I'm hoping that this will do the job later on. It's also got a protective film on the USB port, so just get rid of that. So this is everything that it comes with. It comes with this piece of paper regulatory compliance information whatever that is USB super drive instruction manual which is really good because 
think I should know how to use it, which I probably will end up breaking it or not knowing how to use it or anything. So it's got it in English on the first page, which is good because I don't speak French. Not very well. We've got all sorts of other languages. And then it's got the warranty summary as well, which I do need to keep or else I will lose and then end up breaking it and not good. I also bought this. This is a cover for it. The MacBook that I got is the MacBook Air 13 inch. And this is 13.3 inches. So it fits it very nicely. It's cushioned on the inside. I really wanted to get a cover slash case just because it's just so much less stressful carrying it around. Because if you drop it, then there's less pressure and there's less likely to break. Even though we all know if I drop something, it's just going to smash to pieces. But this is it. It is grey. It's got a really sturdy zip. It's really good. I think it was £17.99 from PC World Koreans, something like that. I don't know. But yeah, that's what this one is. Pretty much everything for unpacking my MacBook Air. And I'm super in love with it. I've still got a little bit of playing around to do with it. Um, so hopefully the videos will be a lot better quality soon. So I'm going to try and link, link my camera up to it so I can film better on that. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye guys.